Okay, hello viewers, welcome to my kit videos. I want to show you how to use, how to set the thermostat. This one is ZFX ST3222. Alright, so um, I want to take you through the settings. Yeah. Okay, so over here we have the display for the humidity. Here the display for temperature. Okay. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so we have the set button. There's the up and down for the humidity, up and down for the temperature. Okay, so we have degree Celsius here. We have percent um, relative humidity over here. Okay, so if you want to set the temperature, sorry, the humidity, let's start with the humidity. If you want to set the humidity you want to keep, all right, you press set. Sorry, you press set once, okay, you see it blinking, then you increase or decrease to the humidity you want. So for my incubator, I want to keep 60 degrees. So I'll leave it and then to stop blinking, that means it has saved. Then if I want to set the temperature, I'll press, okay, and then I'll press again. So this time I'm setting my uh thermometer to 38 degrees all right so i want my incubator to be 38 degrees okay so it has saved now now let's go through some more settings for the humidity you press and hold set you see hc okay so you press set again you can go leave it at cooling or heating so i'm going to leave it at heating okay i'm setting for humidity side alone so i'm leaving it at h all right so i'll press and hold set again okay set to choose humidity when i'm done i'll press set and then scroll up the difference okay the difference for the humidity the difference for the humidity I want it to be plus or minus 10 okay so set then scroll up the low setting so kind of the low alarm I'm leaving it at 45 then set scroll up the high alarm 85 okay set then CA the calibration I'm leaving it at zero okay because I'm assuming my senses are correct. Then P7. P7, I'll leave it at zero. Okay. I'll talk about P7 later in my next video. Okay. So I'm done. I'm going to leave it so that it saves. Now, I want to set for the temperature side. So I'm going to press once. Press it again. And when this is blinking, I'll hold the set okay so now um i want to use it as heating so i'll press set and choose either cooling or heating so i'll leave it at heating i want to use it to heat up then set then scroll up the temperature difference press set i'll leave it at one okay you can increase it if you want so i'll leave it at one then set then i'll scroll up the low temperature setting i'll leave it um, 22 or you can leave it any any temperature i want it's kind of the low alarm setting then set then scroll up hs that's the high temperature alarm okay i'll leave it at 39 so when i see when it gets to 39 um, there'll be an alarm okay um i have to do the process again so that we continue so i'll press and hold okay so we've set hc we set we've set this already now the calibration we set we leave it at zero because i'm assuming my sensor is, is good then set then p7 i'll leave it zero okay so set all right so i'm done okay so um this is the sensor for the temperature and the humidity okay so thanks for watching i'll talk about the wiring real quick okay so uh, where's the cover
Okay, so this how what it looks like on the inside. Okay, this is what it looks like on the inside. Sorry, it's not so clear. Okay, then the cover comes this way. Okay, yeah. So the wires in the middle goes to your life and neutral. And then the two cables on the left and on the right are for the temperature and humidity relays. All right. So the two wires at the temperature side is for the temperature relay. That goes to your heater. And then the two wires at the humidity side, they go to your humidity relay. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and in the next videos I'm going to show and talk more about how to wire it properly. Thanks for watching. Bye